And on the morning of day two here at Luton's open air swimming pool, the weather isn't quite right for this, I can tell you. Five have decided to take the plunge or break the ice. And those five in a straight final over 50 metres, Steve Moran and Brian Robson, the two footballers, Paul Dickinson and Neil Adams and Stuart Matthews. And it's Steve Moran on the left there, then Brian Robson, Paul Dickinson in the centre, Neil Adams and Stuart Matthews. Take your marks. Water temperature 50 degrees Fahrenheit. Get away first time. Good dive in from Paul Dickinson. Good from Neil Adams. Those two already breaking away by about a metre. Steve Moran coming up on the left there just edging the other two, but Paul Dickinson having his battle with Neil Adams and winning it at the moment. Swimming quite fluently, the big fella getting away, swimming on the line. He had one four start, he felt the temperature of the water, he said, I'm not going to take a breath till I get to the other end. He really is thrashing through the water and giving a bit of aggression for the first time, but Neil Adams is still going to get good points. He's in second place here. He's going to pile up that uh, number of points as Paul Dickinson hits the line, then Neil Adams. In third place, Steve Moran very good swim fourth was Stuart Matthews and coming up now Brian Robson Paul Dickinson's time 34.87 remember the record stands to Danny Nightingale 28 seconds this was the start and it was Neil Adams that got slightly the better start on Paul Dickinson and you can see that those two are the most fluent swimmers and after 10 meters they've got away from the rest by about a meter and then it was their own private battle well swum. Was it as bad as you thought it might be in there? Well, the first 20 metres were unbelievably cold, but after that, it's just a question of getting on with the race, you know? Everybody thought that when all of you went in, you'd come to a dead stop as soon as you hit the water. Yeah, I must admit, it felt like it. It took the breath away from you, you know? Are you conscious how close Neil Adams was to you? But very conscious. About 10 metres out, I had to look over and see him because he was on the other side and I'm breathing on this side. And, uh, I think that scared me on to sort of getting on with it. From the points point of view, the wrong man came second, didn't he? Oh, sure, yeah. <laughs> but I think Neil's, uh, you know, going to win anyway. He's in real good condition. So I'm just glad I won an event. I was really pleased about that. And got the swimming over with, I would think. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Ten good points. Yeah. Cold one. Thanks very much. Well well, hammer throw Paul Dickinson, delighted to win one event. That means so much to so many of these superstars. No weak links in Neil Adams' armour, though. Seven points for him in second place. And the girl very much on hand, Sharon Davis, herself an Olympic silver medalist, just drying Neil Adams off there, who now has 40 points with three events to go. Paul Dickinson is nearest to him on 26, but with only two events left. Mike Slemmon and Alton Bird still in contention and each has four events left. There is nothing out there like judo excellence. Judo excellence deals with uh, breaking techniques down into minute detail and how to put them all back together again. And it's all about uh, teaching people the basic fundamental principles of each of the techniques and then how to train them and how to use them in a competition situation and, uh, and, and really how to teach them. It is essential that you understand some of the basic principles of Kazushi and what it entails. Because Kazushi is not just about pulling your partner off balance, it's about controlling with the Kazushi hand. And it will give you a much better understanding as to what Kazushi is all about and how it relates to all of the other techniques. Download Judo Excellence from fightingfilms.tv.